Okay, so good morning. So we are now here in our lesson this morning that talks about geometric series. So at this point, we have a certain problem that we need to determine the sum of the first six terms of a given sequence, 3, 12, 48, and 192. So basically, we need to find the sum of the sequence. So once again, the same as in arithmetic sequence and series, if you're asked to find the sum of a given sequence, it tells us or indicates us that we need to find its specific series. So given a certain problem, we all know that we are now in geometric series. So we will try to put the given equation or the given problem in this part here that is the sum of the six terms, meaning to say 6 of 6 is to the given problem 3, 12, 48, 192, and so on. So we call this given problem as a finite geometric series. So why is it finite? Because we have a given set of sequence and we need to find a given a specific sum of this sequence. So we call it as a finite geometric sequence. Now it's also finite because we are actually given a comma as well as in infinite geometric series, we go into uh, addition sign. So at this point, we go directly in solving our certain problem. So there are different formulas given in a book or any kind of sources that you have that to find a geometric series, you can have a formula S sub n is equal to A sub 1 minus A sub 1 times R raised to the power of n over 1 minus R. That is one of the formulas or you can also have this kind of formula s sub n is equal to a sub 1 times 1 minus r raised to the power of n over 1 minus r okay and we have another formula which is s sub n or the sum of n terms is equal to a sub 1 a bracket 1 minus r raised to the power of n over 1 minus r okay so basically these are the three formulas but again we will still arrive at the same answer because they are just the same okay so when you try to choose a specific formula choose a formula that be best suits you as you are a student so we'll try to use this third formula okay this one because it is actually fine in your book okay so you can actually use the first or the second but since in our my learning body we have this kind of formula so we will try to use this formula in solving our problem this morning so again we try to use the formula so in our given problem we are asked to find the sum of the six terms of our given sequence so what are the important things that we need to look into so that we can solve our problem First, we need to indicate our a sub 1 or the first term. Ye all know that the first term of our given sequence is the first term, ang kinunhan. So, the a sub 1 is our equal to 3. That's correct. Okay. And the next step is to find your n. How many terms that we need to add or how many terms that we need to add in solving for our given series. So, in our problem, we need to add the sum of the first six terms so which means our n is equal to six okay because we need we need to add six terms of a given sequence and last but not the least is the value of your r or we called it as a common ratio now if you can still recall in our geometric sequence lesson to find your common ratio or your r we just simply divide the numbers from the right going to the left Hence, we already know that this is a geometric sequence problem and geometric series problem. Therefore, the given sequence is actually a geometric sequence. So therefore, we can solve it by using the common ratio formula. So the common ratio is we need to subtract, uh, the, divide the numbers from the right going to the left. So we'll try. So we have 192 divided by 48. If you have a calculator out there, you can divide. So, 192 divided by 48, basically that is 4, that's correct. Then, 48 divided by 12, again, calculator, that is also 4. 
And the last terms, 12 divided by 3 is also 4. So you have those common numbers that actually we call it as our common ratio. So again, the common ratio is actually the number that we need to multiply to arrive to the next terms of our sequence. So we have 3, you multiply it by 4, you get 12. Okay? And then you have 12, you multiply it by 4, you also get 48. And in 48, you need to multiply it by 4, you also get 192. So these are the important things that we need to indicate first before we can solve the given problem. So again, solve first your a sub 1 or find first your a sub 1, your n, which is the number of terms that you need to add, and your r or the common ratio that is found in our given problem. So now, since we have already these values of a sub 1, n, and r, we can now solve our problem by going into this kind of formula. So again, always write the formula so that you can actually familiarize the formula. So S sub n is equal to A sub 1, the bracket 1 minus R raised to the power of n over 1 minus R and then closing bracket. Okay. Now this point indicates your, your S or the sum of a given sequence n is equal to 6. So that is S sub 6. Okay. The value of your A sub 1 is 3. Again, do not forget to put the bracket. 1 minus, what is your R again? That is 4. So that is basically 4 raised to the power of your N, which is also 6. Over, your 1 minus your R is also 4. Close bracket. Now, if ever your R is a negative number, like for example this one, since in our finite geometric series or geometric sequence, we can have negative common ratios or your R. So if ever you have a negative common ratio, you can put a parenthesis or the parenthesis inside or beside your R. So like, just like this. Okay? So it's safe to say for us, if your R is a positive number, it's okay if you don't put the parenthesis. But if ever your R or your common ratio is a negative number, you always put a parenthesis. Okay, hope that's clear. Now, to start with our given problem, since you already substitute all the values of your a sub 1, n, and your r to your formula, it's safe to us now to simplify the given problem. Now, to simplify our given problem, please make sure you follow the PEMDAS rule wherein we need to simplify first the p, which is the Parenthesis, which means you just copy first your a sub 1 or your 3. Alright? And then you also copy the bracket. You have 1. You need to simplify first what is 4 raised to the power of 6. Now 4 raised to the power of 6, you have... Okay, you have since you have a minus sign. So 4 raised to the power of 6, that is 4,090... Six. Okay, that's correct. Here you are. please use the calculator to solve this one. And then over 1 minus 4, you copy also first 1 minus 4. Okay, at this point, since in the PEMDAS rule, again, this set of numbers are also found inside the bracket. So, kailangan is simplify sa ninato na asolod. So, again, copy 3. Okay, since I simplify naman natong bracket, your bracket becomes a parenthesis. So what is 1 minus 4096? Okay, that is a negative 4095. So kung maglisod og minus ana, so you simplify sa 1 minus 4096, i-calculate na lang para madali ang buhay. Okay. So 1 minus 4. 1 minus 4 is negative 3, that's correct. So at this point, you simplify again inside the parenthesis. So you have copy 3. What is negative 4095 divided by negative 3? Okay. So please take note. You can use the calculator for that one. Now, if you don't have a calculator, pag mano mano. So if you have a calculator, negative 4095 uh, divided by negative 3. That is positive 1300. 65. So if ever you have 1,365, again, 3 times 1,365, that is 
So the S sub 6 is equal to 4,000 positive 95. And that is the final answer. Okay? Thank you.